So agent whisper is, uh, you know, um, um, at a very high level, if I had to define it, I would say it's a collaboration tool between agents and their supervisors. So uh, every so often what might happen is the agent is in the middle of a conversation with the end user and they're kind of stumped by a question. Either they don't know the answer to that question or they're not very sure as to what the answer might be. So in that uh, scenario, what can happen is, you know, the agent might want to reach out to somebody else for help. Typically it's their supervisor. And in this, uh, as part of Agent Whisper, that's exactly what we do. So we have uh, enabled a quick action for, uh, you know, which is called help. And that allows an agent uh, right in the middle of a conversation to reach out to their supervisor for help. And once um, this is uh, this help request goes to the supervisors, uh, you know, what happens is they see that as a prompt on the, the list of interactions and they can do a couple of things. Uh, they can either join the interaction publicly, but publicly, I mean, the requester knows that they're actually joining the interaction in addition to the original agent, or they could just uh, private message the agent. Uh, if, they, if it was just a you know, simple question that they want, uh, wanted to give an answer to, they could just private message the agent and leave the interaction. So that's kind of, uh, you know, what Agent Whisper does. And uh, an extension of that in terms of what we did in San Diego is uh, in relation to profanity filtering. So profanity filtering is a new feature that is coming out in San Diego, uh, which basically blocks any profane messages entered by agents from reaching requesters. So as part of that, what happens is if an agent is trying to send something profane, we block that message. And at the same time, we also notify the supervisor that, hey, you know, your agent is kind of trying to send something profane here. And they can do pretty much exactly the same thing as a supervisor where they kind of join that interaction. And this kind of helps them to kind of uh, control the agent, you know, kind of uh, calm them down so that they don't say, say anything detrimental that's, you know, that can be counterproductive. So that's another use case of Agent Whisper that is, uh, you know, in relation to profanity filtering. So setting up Agent Whisper uh, is pretty simple. Uh, this feature is automatically bundled with the Agent Chat plugin that uh, Sam spoke about uh, during her overview. And in addition to that, uh, what administrators Myers must do is they navigate to chat setup and they kind of enable this checkbox here, which says uh, Agent Whisper. And that will uh, you know, allow this to work end to end. So how this works, I uh, kind of already touched upon this, uh, but you know, agents use a quick action, which is uh, defined as slash help. And along with that quick action, they can enter a brief summary of what the hell, you know, question is about. And once that uh, question is sent, this uh, shows up on the manager's uh, dashboard. So managers use a different workspace called manager workspace. So it would show up in there. And once they see that uh, prompt, managers can uh, directly join you know, that interaction. Um, like I said, either publicly or you know, just to private message the agent. And managers, uh, you know, uh, agents and managers can have private and public in, uh, conversations, which I already explained. And at the end of it, you know, when the transcripts are generated, there are uh, some nuances there. So if you're looking at the internal transcript, you would see that, you know, even the private messages between the manager and the agent are included. Whereas in the public transcript, assuming the supervisor did not join the public uh, chat, uh, that would not be shown there. So that kind of, is an overview of how Agent Whisper works. And I can show you a demo of this. Um, so let me go back in as Beth. Let's close this out. Okay, I'm going to again simulate the same interaction. So I'm going to have to bear through this survey one more time. And I'm also going to be logged in here as Fred, who is one of the managers. So this is uh, what is what I could refer to as manager workspace. So this is kind of where uh, this is a dashboard that is primarily intended for supervisors and manager, manager type of users. So this is where they go in to kind of review how their team is doing. And this is kind of where 
you know, the notification for any kind of help would show up over here. So let me uh, first try to kick off an interaction. So Beth is available and we have Okay, now I'm going to reach out for live agent and Beth gets this and she's now engaged with this end user. And right away she sees that, you know, this question is about some kind of new charge. And uh, Beth kind of knows that there's a new charge going out on, you know, the statements, but she does not really know what it is. So this is kind of where she needs some help and she's going to use uh, the help um, so once I enable that, it allows me to enter a summary of what I am trying to ask. So Beth is just going to clarify is the new charge to loop to. So let's just say this business has kind of started including some kind of service charge on their statements for their customers. So that's kind of what she says. And one thing I want to point out here is that since this is a private message, it shows up in a different color. So this is colored in yellow versus anything that is uh, in green is public facing or you know the requester can see this. That's kind of how uh, the agent is able to know that what they're saying is actually shown to the end user or not. So now let's go to Fred, who is the manager. Okay, so as you can see, you know, there is now a new interaction uh, which requires his assistance. So he's just gonna open that interaction, which means he has the option to join that uh, by when he says join conversation, he's gonna join the conversation along with the agent and the end user can see Fred joining that conversation. Or what he can do here is also send a private message. So let me first show you how the private message works. So again, the private message is highlighted in yellow and you can see two tabs. One is a chat tab for public chat, which includes a end user and the private chat is just between the agent and the supervisor. Um, so he's just gonna say, yes, we have. So that kind of gives uh, Beth enough information or clarity on you know, how to answer the uh, you know, end user's question. So now let's just also say that you know, uh, for some reason, the supervisor want to engage with the end user directly. So in that case, what you can do is just click on public chat. And I get a prompt here saying, you know, you're going to join in a public conversation, which means what you want to say is going to be shown to the requester as well. And you get a system message to that effect for, you know, on the, on the agent side. And if you go to the end user, he also sees that another agent has joined this conversation. So I can now message. Um, I hope we have question. So that would show up, you know, to the requester as well as to Beth. And since it's public, this is kind of uh, shown in green. So I'm just going to say yes. Uh, and at this point, you know, everything is good. So um, Beth can end this interaction. So this is going to kick off the post chat survey again because we had enabled it like in the previous demo. So now once uh, this is done, I should see the transcript populating, which is not for some reason. Maybe I should also exit from, oh, okay, there it is. So this is a transcript. And as you can see, any private messages are tagged as private. Uh, so these were 
these are not going to be shown on the downloadable transcript that you know the end user would kind of have access to. So that is uh, kind of how Agent Whisper works.